Hey there, everybody. I'm going to talk to Bandit Keith because you guys told me to. That's all he says. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> and, of course, we're still in the cave, so we got to get out of here. We already have an Alpha, the Magnet Warrior. We got nothing to worry about. Uh, we're going to go back to the ship, and we're going to try and defeat the SS Ant today. There's not much left to do anyway, so we'll probably do more than that. But, you know, that's the first thing we're going to do. X-Head Cannon. Oh, and do not worry, guys. I'm sure you guys are already caught up now, but I know to do this now. Look at this. I could I could do this. Wabam! Dex nav. Look at that. I found everything in here. Everything in here. Um, wait. What do I not have? Oh, wait. No, I have alpha. I don't have... Huh. I don't have a Lord of D yet. You know what? That makes sense. I've probably just been skipping them. Or maybe I tried to catch one way earlier and then I just failed. Or I accidentally critted it. It happens. If I see one, I'll catch it. But if I don't see one, then it's not going to be a big deal. Let's just move our summon skull forward. Sorry, x head cannons. You're not worth him. You're not worth my summon skull. What else we got? What did I just say? What did I just say? Unless you're shiny, don't pop up. <laughs> I, I am not about to deal with this. I only mention that because a lot of my comments, now that I'm starting to catch up to where you guys are, or you're starting to catch up to me, I should say, um, are just like, oh, I caught a shiny here. Oh, I got a shiny here. I got a shiny here. And I'm just like, wait, what? You're all getting shinies? <laughs> I'm stuck here just with cool Pokemon, but our digi yu mons whatever. Uh, I'm playing so many games at the same time. yu mon Digimon, Pokemon, all the fun stuff. I really like the music in here. I'm not going to lie. This is super nice. So, I've already pretty much done stuff up here. Let me make sure I didn't skip anything, you know, too important. I can't believe I lost my piece of Exodia. See, okay, there was a guy. Hey, matey, let's do a little jig. I remember you. Yeah, we're going to do a little dancing, eh? All right, a little dancing with Sailor Edmund and his parrot D. Unless that thing has a leak, I'm not worried about it. I'm pretty sure that le uh, thing can't hurt me. Hmm... I don't think it's a special attacker, but I'm going to use Snarl anyway. We want to play it safe after all. We lowered their special attack. That's very good. Bullet Seed. Okay, you know, that'll do da damage to us. I didn't really expect a Grass-type attack, if I'm being honest. That move, I should have went for Shockwave. I'm just spamming the button, so what are you going to do? Okay, now that we've defeated you, Summon Skull gains a boosted. He is a traded uh, Pokemon, whatever. Mystic Elf, water type. Okay, that means Formation Z. This should be an opponent you can handle. I know they're tanky water types, but still. This should be an opponent you can handle. Let's see if your Charge Beam can do it. All right. You're faster, which is already a good sign. Your special attack should go up to guarantee a kill, yes. And all they have is Water Gun. This is a good fight for you. Okay, that did a lot of damage because you're not tanky, but still. I guess you have X-Head Cannon in the name. We don't have uh, Z-Metal Tank in the name. We need to get that. Alright, there we go. And Sailor Edmund has been defeated. Heck yeah. And now that you've been defeated, I'm going to check on your friends to see if anyone else wants a fight. Scrubbing deck is hard work. Hundred kinds of Pokemon, there are 151 in this game. And then even more once you get to post-game. Alright, they say the ship's gonna depart soon. I gotta be careful. I'm not, I don't wanna get stuck here. He uses cut, eh? Alright. Um, I don't think I've been in these rooms yet, so let's try them out. Hey, you cool? Oh, you're the one that sees Snorlax, right? Oh, what the hell? Wait, I didn't mean to skip it. Oh, Big Shield Garden of Snorlax! Okay. You know what? That that makes a little bit of sense. I like that. I like that a lot. A lot of the warrior types in this game have been given, uh... Yeah, that typing. Normal typing, that is. So, let's see what you got. You got Frog T-Jam? Oh my god, was that... Was that Master Ball? No, I don't think so. I'm just crazy. Alright, Stab, Super Effective Electric. I've caught a Frog the Jam before. They just die. Yeah, Summon Skull versus Frog the Jam is not a fair fight. Whether it's Yu-Gi-Mons or whether it's po uh, actual Yu-Gi-Oh. D to B, he's growing. And a Mystic Elf, we already tested this uh, theory. Granted, uh, my guy has taken some damage, but Formation Z should be fine. Especially since she might be weaker because he has more Pokemon. Yep, he has more Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Charge Beam again. Just make a quick little uh, 
electrified attack on her. Beautiful. I really enjoy this game, guys. I need you all to know that. This game is actually really cool. I've always loved Pokemon um, a lot, probably more than Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest. But the fact that this game is completely different, has completely original sprites, a completely new story, uh, it's just such a cool idea. Such a great idea. Alright, Shredder's getting ready. He's getting a little tankier. Okay, good to see. Aquamador. I'd let Shredder in, but it's not his time yet. I haven't found any opponents that Steel types beat. Aquamador, Charge Beam. I don't know if I ever got the special attack raise, but... This has to be stab super effective with magnets, so yeah. Oh, really? Oh, it has an ice move. I'm not weak to ice, but still. Maybe it's like, um, what's, whatchamacallit? It's like, um, wow, I don't have a 100% accurate move. I need new moves for Formation Z. Because even though he's cool, he's just going to get himself killed. All right. Oh, there's the special attack raise. No, I don't, I don't want it now. All right, let's get you to level 20, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Like Shockwave, something guaranteed. Supersonic! That is one of the most inaccurate moves ever, although I don't know if they changed its accuracy. Nope, it's still 55! Well, screw defense mode, I'm not about that. So you're just Mr. Inaccurate, ain't you, Formation Z? I'm gonna... I'm gonna need to approve upon you later on. You're all out of Pokemon? Alright, that guy probably isn't, though, so we're gonna need to... Yeah, we're gonna need to be careful here. You know what, let's see if Shredder, now that he's level 17, when they have big teams, level 17's a thing. Um, you have protect pads on right now. You hit hard physically, you have power up hit, Bulldoze doesn't physically touch, Metal Claw would do a lot. So Metal Claw would do a lot, as long as it's not a water type. Or unless it's a water ice type. Yep. Competing against the young keeps me youthful, whatever you need to say, old man. What do you got? You only got one. Uh-oh. Queen's K. Okay, well that's not good. Um, I'll try one attack and then we'll see how much she does to us. Swift is probably going to hurt like hell. It did half our health. We're not a steel type yet or did we just... Oh my god. Yeah, no, get us the hell out of here. Shredder is baby. <laughs> we have a baby freaking... Po I, was gonna, I was about to say rookie Digimon. We have a baby Yugimon. Trying to take on this girl. Um, let's try... You know what? Butterfree needs experience. Let's let Butterfree do it. I think your Swift can hurt my Butterfree. Alright, let's see if it can. Actually, it's not too bad. Um, I do believe you're just a regular... Yeah, just a regular normal type. I know I caught one of you. I just forgot. I know the game will tell me too. I just... Who cares? Uh, let's go with Twin Needle for fun. Just because it's a cool looking move. Yeah. Twin Needle's always been cool. It's the reason why I keep it over Bug Bite. Cool factor. It matters. <laughs> and there we go. Why do you think you all use Black Glasses on Squirtle, even though it has barely any use other than for Bite? Cool. The coolness matters. Alright, Stardust. Very good. I could sell that. Nice. I'm going to need to heal my team a bit. They did uh, They did struggle. But it's okay. They're learning. They're, uh, they're growing up. Um... Once I have the ability to cut, I'll be able to change a few things in the game. Because it'll be much easier for me to go back to the, you know, back to Pallet Town. So, let's just keep working on this. we got to find the Cut Master. But of course, we don't want to skip anybody. Because what if we see a really cool Yu-Gi-Mon? We're pretty much completing our Pokédex. The way we've been playing this game. Even if we're not catching everything, we're like seeing everything. Alright, Gramps, what do you have to say? Yeah, I know. Uh, in this game, I'm hoping I don't even have to. Oh, yes, Surf. So we have Surf and Cut. That's what both those guys are talking about. And we got battles. Oh, I couldn't double battle them. I can't believe I saw you at the party. I don't, I don't remember you. I wasn't even at the party. All right, Don O.D. Marin. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's Outstanding Dog Marin. Oh, shit. I don't know if that thing's a fairy type. No, it's a normal type. Fighting beats it. You know what? Maybe that's weak enough. That's a baby. That's definitely a baby. Shit, it knows Covet. That's going to be a powerful move. Okay. Yep, there goes my protective pads. Uh, here's a power-up hit. It'll start weak and it'll get strong. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Good job. Shredder has an opponent they might be able to beat. Doll Eyes. No! You're weakening my attack! I was just trying to raise it. But if you... You know what? If I make you waste your time doing that, then Shredder can get his first kill. Yeah. Waste your time doing that. Oh shit, that's a really good move that can flinch me. Okay, didn't do it. This is without my attack going down, it should kill. 
with a crit, guaranteed kill. I have a double attack stat now. That's very good. 190 on Shredder. Rest of my team, good for them. Summon Skull is getting bigger. I like it. Injection Fairy Lily. That might not be a fight for you. She's Fairy Poison. You have a ground move. You have double attack up. Your steel protects you. I it Look, she's probably fully evolved though, so I'm scared. I'm scared about this play. It says Metal Claw is super effective. Ah, because they're a fairy. That would be stronger than Bulldoze. Shit. I should be fine. I should be fine. Steel typing protects. Barely. Double attack! Metal Claw stab! Super effective! Rah! Yeah! Shredder! That's my boy. Big experience! That's my boy. Look at him! That's the Shredder right there. He's growing. Last Dawn... Take it easy, sweetheart. Yeah, no, I understand. Uh, do I have any potions? I probably don't. Alright, so no, I'm not cheesing with the box. Um, we'll let Formation Z take the lead for now. Shredder, Shredder did amazing. I'm so proud of them. Which do you find more worthy? A strong or a rare Pokemon? Um, worthy is a bad word to use. I would say that you should use the Pokemon you just like, but... You know, it's 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 uh, to each their own kind of thing. Huh? What type are you? If my charge beam works, I feel like you would learn a ground move, though. I feel like I'm just trapping myself here. So who here could fight a ground type? It'd be Butterfree. Although, no way, he's obviously a rock type. He's trying Soldier of Stone. So that was a horrible switch. No, I was. You know what? Hmm. I do have to be worried. So yeah, you're. Are you rock? Huh. You're a weird type, you know that? I'm just gonna I'm gonna just bullet seed and hope to god you die. Although you're probably a tank, so there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, four times effective rock throw. Yeah, Butterfree is way stronger though, thanks to levels and stuff. And the fact that I'm more evolved. I'm assuming Giant Soldier of Stone does have an evolution. Oh okay, I was gonna say, do not give me only two hits. That would screw me. Even with the crit, it would have screwed me. I'm going to guess they nerfed crits in this game to 1.5. Because back in the day, it was 2 times 2. Burfamet, um I think that's a ground flying type or a normal flying type. If it's ground flying, then I'd be killing Formation Z. Let's just send in Scarlet. I haven't used Red Eyes in a minute. I always like seeing my Red Eyes Black Dragon. Look at that guy. All right, Burfamet, you got claws. You have the same pose in your own way. Um, I'm going to show you the power of incineration. Hooray. <laughs> Incinerate. All right, Gentleman Lamar. Yeah, I don't know about you, buddy. You scare me. One X attack. I hate X attacks. Yeah, I don't like any of those items. I usually just sell them. But Cooper, they could save you in really desperate fights against things you can't beat. Yes, they could. I still don't like them. You could use them on turns that are, you know, you're going to waste anyway. Yeah, I could. I still don't like them. Alright, let's go over here. And let's go up here. One, two, three, four. I think I'm on five, yeah. Alright, hey kid. Me and my daddy think that the Safari Zone is all- I would love to see the Safari Zone in this game. Oh, I can't wait. Have you gone- No, I haven't- Look, that's like the sixth gym. I'll get over there later. Maybe even the seventh gym, I don't even know. Alright, what about you two? You guys have anything to say? The captain says he's awfully sick. How could the sea captain get seasick? He should not be allowed to. You're the sea captain. Alright, we'll keep Formation Z up front. He might be strong enough. Alright, here we go, guys. Bonjour. Imagine seeing you here, Cooper. Were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already got 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. How many did I find? Oh, he doesn't say how much I have? Shit. I am curious now. How much do I have? Alright, Gary, what do you got? Wing Karibo! Ooh, that thing's strong. Okay. We used to run a Wing Karibo for a while. Um... I want to just charge beam and go for game, but I don't know if it'll work. Yeah, see, this is the problem. Now, Summon Skull has Shockwave, so I'm not worried. But I would like to just two-shot this thing if possible. 
Oh, they're built tanky. Oh, they are not built to... Yeah, that's a problem. Mm. I'm not worried about this. We have Shockwave if I ever have to switch. If I feel uncomfortable, I'll do it. Uh, one more. Let's see if we could do it. I don't care if he wastes his time multiplying. That's fine by me. Okay, fair enough. I'm ready. Uh, we're going to switch into Summon Skull. It does the same job. The only difference is Summon Skull better not be the one that gets attacked. Good, good. I just happen to have a Pokemon that's ready to uh, beat this strategy. Shockwave, Stab, super effective. Wing Attack, I'm Electric type. I'm not worried about Wing Attack. A normal attack would have been smart. Stab, super effective. Get in there. Yeah, Wing Karibo falls. And without a Wing Karibo in my way, Formation Z levels up. Eh, bad level up, but whatever. Summon Skull gains boosted experience, and the rest of the team grows as well. Ura B, ground type. That beats most of my team. Shredder, Summon Skull, Formation Z. Scarlet's flying, so I guess that's fine. Yeah. You know what? Ura B versus Ura B. We both like it. I'm, I'm glad that me and Gary have some things in common. It's just like, oh yeah, you caught that too? Yeah, me too. It's a cool guy. I love Lil D. He was funny. And now he's actually just good. Um, I'm definitely faster than you. Do I want to try Mega Kick for fun? Let's try Mega Kick. <laughs> I love when it lands. Oh my god. Oh, tanky. All right. I mean, I resist that, but you did lower my speed. But you are tankier than I thought. I thought Mega Kick would just throw you out of here. Bad tantrum. Now you're faster than me, but you chose the wrong move twice. Magnitude would have been the right move to choose. I'm just going to throw a tantrum. All right. We have taken out our opponent. And Dark Magician Girl. I don't remember her typing. I think we had one, but I forgot. She was psychic, right? She had to be psychic. Summon Skull versus Dark Magician. Oh, but she knows fairy moves. That was a big mistake. You know what? I'm probably at least around her level or higher level, so it should be fine. Around her level. Okay. Trace, you have Lightning Rod. I can't use electric moves. That's actually a pretty cool thing, but I was going to snarl you anyway. Stab super effective. Ooh, I forgot about attraction. God damn it. I hate attraction. Never even think about it until it happens. All right. If I can hit her once, though, it'll be fine. Shit. Yeah, no. Attraction's going to ruin it. Who's my female? Scarlet? Scarlet's pretty... F yeah, that's good. Take this, Dark Magician Girl. Can't attract my Scarlet unless the game's cool. Ah, that works. Yeah, you could charm her, though. She loves a good charmer. No, wait. No, I was... I only clicked it once, but the button, like, got stuck, so I clicked it twice. God damn it. If I get confused, that'll be annoying. Yep. I was supposed to snarl her, but or incinerate her, but either way, that sucks. Okay, at least I still pulled it off. It's like right after getting charmed, I use the worst move possible. Psybeam, you can take it. Incinerate's guaranteed to hit, so let's go for game. Wow, Red Eyes loves us. They broke out immediately. Did not even get confused. Lucky us. Good job, Scarlet. Summon Skull's getting much stronger now. Heck yeah. Summon Skull wants to learn a dark move. Sadly, it's a physical attacking dark move. And my Summon Skull ain't so physical. It's five more damage and never misses like Shockwave. But it's physical. <clears throat> so I'm good with Snarl. Yep. It's a cool move, but if I had no other dark move, yeah, I'd, I'd use it. Flame Swordsman! Ah, oh, that's where me and him went different. Even though I really like Flame Swordsman, I didn't go for it. Um, I'm guessing pure fire type, so Irby would be a good matchup. Let's just send in our dinosaur. And Flame Swordsman, let's see what you got against Bad Tantrum. You know, I'm just waiting for you to send in Blue Eyes. I want to see... I, I don't really remember Blue Eyes typing or anything, so I want to see what you are. Shredder! Yay, I'm happy to hear that. Shredder's leveling. Scarlet, uh oh, level 30, yeah. That's a big one. Blue eyes, white dragon, eh? Oh, uh, even though it's blue, I don't think it learns water, so D to B you might actually be a good matchup for it. Alright, let's find out your type. Uh you are flying type, which means Rock Tomb is good. Shit! 95 accurate and I missed. Alright, wing attack doesn't hurt because we're a physical tank. Rock tomb, let's see what we can do. Holy shit, crit. Okay. I was going to say, that's way too much damage. It was because it was crit. Ugh, yeah, let's just take a little drink. I'm a little thirsty. Yeah, just a little berry juice. Um, 
Rock Tomb's my most accurate move, so let's just do it. That can hit. And Blue Eyes White Dragon takes a nap. Just for now, of course. Just a little nap. Alright, level 30. Not bad, D to B. Not bad. Sand Tomb. I'm not really that kind of a battler. Yeah, not, not for me. You are a little tanky, but you need to be way tankier for me to want to use Sand Tomb. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Dude, I have more... Alright, yeah, smell you later, too. Out of curiosity, how many Pokemon do I have in my Pokédex? What's my number right now? Scene, 85, own oh, 50. I beat him. I have 55. Get wrecked, kid. Get wrecked, Gary. Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Cutmaster himself. Do you need a little back rub? Yeah, rub the captain's back. There we go. Woo, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? Hey, we learned HMO1 from the cut guy. Yeah, let's see your book. How to Conquer Seasickness. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. A town map. Ah, yes, this is where we are currently. We will be going up here eventually and then going over here. So get prepared for that. So, now that we got cut, we have, uh, you know, done a major objective. Getting cut gives us access to new areas and the like, which means that I will be able to change the game back into a real game again. Because right now, obviously, I didn't want to run all the way back as that would take forever, but we could show you guys this trick of, of Diglett Cave. This is sadly the last time I'll be able to sleep in that girl's room. I'm sorry. Because the second I leave this ship... Yep. I remember being a kid and coming back here all the time, expecting it to come back. That was the last time you'll ever see SSN. I even went to Fusha City as a kid and was like, oh man, is he going to show up here? Like, it never did. It never did. That's literally the last time you'll ever see SSN. It's really sad. It's a cool area, too. You're like, you get to fight a lot of people. There's a healing thing in there, which is a pretty big deal back then. Like, it's just, so, there's so much going on there. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go to Diglett Cave and let's uh, take advantage of our situation. Uh, I think if I can, I'd like to repel. I know I'm, I'm missing one Pokemon in here, but I <clears throat> like I said earlier, I can live without it. I own five repels. Okay, that'll get me through the cave at least. Maybe not back though. Yeah, it'll be enough to get through the cave and not back. <clears throat> But yeah, Diglett Cave, once you have the HM for cut, is how you get through to areas. Talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, use another one. Thank you for including that, you know, quality of life thing that Black and White 2 created. What's your name? Yeah, I need to get Flash myself. So now that I have cut, this should work. Let's see. Aha! It does work. You just, like, look at it. Using the power of sight, I can cut things. Which is kind of cool. It's like my my brain does it. No, no, no. We're good now. Save the repels for the way back. I think I've been here once before. Yeah, yeah. You want to trade for my Axe Raider? Who the hell would want Axe Raider? I, I could have a million of those. Alright, we're going to cut that down. We, we, And we're here now. So you... If a monster has no clothes, can it still learn Flash? Uh, no. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data of 10 species... Oh yeah, you give me Flash, don't you? Yeah, I've gathered. Yep. Shouldn't be a TM, though. I thought it was an HM in this game. That's fine, doesn't matter. The TMs are infinite, too. And that's a good thing, probably. Alright, let's see. Ether. So we're really back. We're all the way back in uh, the regular city. Oh, what is this? Rest. Ah, the, they did get rid of the rest guy, didn't they? What the fuck? Is this a glitch? You know what? Before I find out if this is a glitch, let's save the game. That way, worst case scenario, I don't lose all my progress. Also, I see that, that HM now, or TM now, so I won't talk to this thing until afterwards. It takes a long time to save. Yeah, it's fine. What's the... Incinerate! Whoa, that's a TM? Oh, whoa, there's also something down there. Good to know. 
Um, yeah, I don't think any of my team members can learn a fire move. Maybe Arm Dragon, because he's a dragon. He might be able to learn Incinerate, but I highly doubt. Yeah, Arm Dragon can learn Roar. He can learn Dig. He already has Bulldoze, though. Rock Tomb. Rest. Track. Thief. Flash. Low Sweep. Chilled Water. Incinerate. Nope, can't learn Incinerate. Already knows that move. Already learned that move. We're good. Just checking. Um, yeah, wait, wait. Oh, it was just glitched. It was just glitched. We're fine. Everything's fine now. Okay, I don't know what I did to unglitch it, but it, it was 100% just glitched. We're back in Viridian City. <laughs> oh, it's been a minute. It has been the singular of minutes. Let's get all the way back. And then I'm going to show you guys where you can change your stuff. It'll be a lot easier to come back here once I have fly. Hey there, sir. Can I talk to you? Oh, I'm too fat for a dual disc. It's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Hey, Roland. Attention, duelist. I could adjust the game settings. Okay, let's see. What is the best adjustment? It would be level cap back on. And I could turn it back off if I feel like there's no way I could beat something because I'm not the best at yu gi -mons. I don't know everything. I'm figuring it out as we go. But I'll, I'll turn it off and on as I see fit. It's my, it's my let's play. I do whatever I want. Might as well fish while we're here before I walk all the way back. Hey, I don't think I have one of those. A tadpole. Oh, if you want a tadpole, which will probably become a frog of some sort, there you go. That's pretty cool. I'll just use a quick wall. No need to get complicated with a tadpole. If you escape from this, I will just kill you. That is your warning. Oh, he was given a warning, and it worked out. We caught ourselves a tadpole. Now I have 56 Pokemon. Now, out of my curiosity, would the Dex have actually tell me if I am missing or caught anything in here? Like, how does it work when you're next to water? Water, if you're surfing, legendary fisherman, that's what we're missing. So it doesn't even tell me about the tadpole and stuff. That's interesting. How would I find out about tadpole? So if you want a legendary fisherman, you're probably going to need to surf here. Or have a better rod. It don't matter, though. So, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Next episode, I'll already just teleport us back to the town, and we're going to try and take on a gym leader. I'll see you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe.